Hey everybody, I am Jared Clark with Air Guns of Arizona, and I've been shooting air guns pretty much my whole life. Currently, I think I just shot the tightest five shot group I've ever done at 50 yards. We're gonna go inside, and I'm gonna show you which gun is responsible for achieving this. the anticipation has been killing you, so we're gonna jump right into it. The gun that shot the best group of my life at 50 yards was Daystate Pulsar HP 25 caliber. So I have it right here in front of me. Comes in this nice hard locking case. Here we have the Pulsar HP, which stands for high power. On high power, this gun does about 50 foot pounds. So it is a significant increase from their 35 foot pound model that they released earlier. And it packs a punch, it really does. You saw in the groups out there, lots to look forward to in the 20 and 50 yard range. But let's just jump right in here. With the gun, you will receive a 10 shot magazine, owner's manual and warranty card, a single shot tray, bag that says adjustable trigger Allen keys. So the trigger is a fully adjustable two stage and you have all the keys you need to do it right here. And a fill probe. Let's move some of this out of the way and get to the main event here. In front of me, I have the green laminate Daystate Pulsar HP. It's also available in the gray laminate configuration like you see here. And the third and final stock option would just be the good old fashioned synthetic stock like you see pictured here. Daystate as a company has a world renowned reputation for building some of the highest quality, most advanced air rifles that have ever hit the market. And this Pulsar is absolutely no exception to that. This gun has a lot of features, and I mean a lot of features. So we're gonna start with the overview. This is an electronic gun. So there's no, when you cock the lever, there's no springs, there's no hammers, there's nothing mechanically that you're setting when you do this. It's all controlled by a solenoid system that will hit the valve, release the air, coil back up, hit it again every time you pull the trigger. So the electronics are very advanced in this gun and with it, it almost works as a regulator because you have an electronic solenoid system which is much more precise and accurate than any mechanical systems could be. So although there is no physical, what we would call a regulator in here, they have an electronic system that works to regulate and make sure that each shot is as consistent as possible. And when we get to 20 yards and crunch some numbers, you'll see that it does a great job of just that. So keeping that in mind, the Pulsar has right here an LCD display screen. This is gonna tell you right off the bat your current pressure that's in the gun and then you have the options of it keeping a magazine counter for you. It'll count down. So when you have two shots, you shoot your second to last shot, it'll notify you, letting you know that you're on your last shot. It also has the ability to run through the programming mode, which allows you to turn on and off the front laser. It allows you to turn the gun between high, medium, and low power. And then it also has the ability to turn the magazine counter on or off, whichever you prefer. The bolt handle itself is a fully ambidextrous bolt. So couple two features actually together, this bolt and this cheek piece. The cheek piece can be removed, flipped around, and it's a left-handed cheek piece. Same with the bolt. It can be pulled out the back, flipped over. All you have to do is switch this cocking to this side, because obviously we're flipping it, and you have a fully left-handed gun. Not an ambidextrous gun, a left-handed cheek piece, a left-handed cocking bolt, left-handed gun. So not only is it the most technologically advanced gun that's out there. It also has a lot of features that make it unique and no one else is really offering, and that would be one of them. Moving forward from there, right in your line of sight here, at the base of the scope rail, you have a built-in bubble level. This is really neat because the further you move out, the tiniest bit of cant left and right will really start to project itself at further distances. So to give yourself every advantage for accuracy, Daystate's built that in. It's easy to see when you're looking down the scope. Quick peripheral check will tell you whether or not you're level. Keep shooting all day long like that. It's a great feature and really a unique one to come pre-installed on the gun. In front of the bubble level, you'll notice the Pulsar has an 11 millimeter dovetail style rail. 
On top of the dovetail rail, we have mounted an Aztec Optics, five and a half to 25. Below the scope, you have the factory shroud, technically is what you're looking at. This is not the barrel itself. The barrel is wrapped in a shroud to help with the noise level, keep it backyard friendly as much as possible. Underneath the shroud, this uses a 23 inch barrel. So the overall length of the gun is 35 inches. Being a bullpup, that's why you can get 23 inches of barrel on a 35 inch setup because it sits in the middle. So it's a great system coupled together. The shroud and the 23 inch barrel working together give you a lot of power, but without being an incredibly loud machine. So you're gonna have a 300 cc air cylinder on the Pulsar HP. The grip they utilize is an AK-74 grip. You can purchase aftermarket grips for this one. However, the one that comes pre-installed is probably the best grip. The safety on this gun is a very traditional push safety. So when you can see red, the gun is in fire. You also have a couple other safety indicators on this gun. When it's locked and loaded, the back will light up red. So not only do you have the push button safety, you'll have the red light behind you. And then if you have your laser pointer on, it will also project a laser out onto your target to let you know that it's ready to fire. So there you have three safety points on the gun, all indicators to let you know whether or not you're ready to shoot. Also, when you're low on pressure, when your gun drops below 160 bar, this will begin to flash continuously, letting you know that you're getting dangerously low on air and you need to top off soon. The trigger itself is fully adjustable. You do have a nice Picatinny Weaver style rail molded right into this part of the stock. So anyone who uses an Atlas bipod or a Deben flashlight, any of those kind of accessories, put them up underneath the gun and you're good to go. You have a nice knurled knob here you have a half inch thread. So you have the ability to add a hug it, an Airstream, any kind of accessory you would like that utilizes the half inch UNF thread. Your butt stock is not only adjustable up and down, it also has the ability to cant left and right. We talked about the features this gun has, and I'm gonna give you very quickly a demonstration on how to program the gun, how to change some of the settings. And it's really simple, it sounds intimidating, but just bear with me here. All right, so to enter programming mode, the first thing we wanna do is make sure that the safety is off. So we don't want safety on. I want to be able to see red. Obviously there's no magazine or any pellets near the breech here, but what you want to do is make sure the safety is off. You want to open the bolt up and you want to compress the trigger and hold it for a couple seconds. What's going to happen is you're going to see the words programming mode appear right there. And what I'm going to do is let go of the trigger and then engage it again to start scrolling through my options. As I do this, you'll notice there's laser, magazine, and power level. We're going to start with power level. So when it gets there, power level, I'm gonna let go. It says high power because that's currently where it is. To make changes, simply click the trigger. So low, high, medium, low. Let's go to low. Now low is where I want. To enter this as the programmed mode, simply close the bolt. It gives you a nice bouncing sound to know that it took it. And then right there it says low power. So it's a very feature rich product, but it's not incredibly complicated. It is very simple to use. The gun itself runs off of six AA batteries. So it's the, the electronics behind it are very simple. They work really well for keeping the consistency tight and giving you great performance. So Daystate is one of a kind. They make an electronic gun that really does a great job. The Daystate Pulsar, like all Daystate rifles, does come with a three year manufacturer's warranty. Air Guns of Arizona in the United States is the warranty center for you. So we will stand behind the product for three years after purchase. Let's put some air in the gun. Let's shoot some pellets over the chronograph and calculate some numbers. And then we'll take it out to 50 and see what kind of accuracy we can get at that distance. Let's get to it. So we're back here at the 20 yard range. We're gonna show you how to load the mag on the Daystate Pulsar HP. You'll notice you have an indicator button right here on the left. Right now it's completely empty and it is as simple as putting the round nosed pellet in the hole, rotating the entire thing counterclockwise and the actuator will catch it and hold it on the next one. And you just do that 10 times. So there's a full magazine. We have 10 25 caliber JSB Kings loaded and ready. And as we fire the gun, the actuator will engage and get us to the next pellet. We're gonna go ahead and shoot down range, see what kind of consistency we can get, what kind of group size we can get when we remove all of the elements here at 20 yards. So let's start shooting.
So that's an entire magazine at 20 yards. Keep in mind, that's a 25 caliber pellet. So that hole is not much bigger than a 25 caliber pellet. So repeatability, granted we're indoors, granted that's 20 yards, but it gives you every sign that this is gonna be an absolutely tack driving machine out in the field. So 20 yards, 10 shots, tight as could be. Great job, Daystate Pulsar. So the next thing we're gonna do at the 20 yard range is we're gonna crunch some numbers. This gun has a high, a medium, and a low power. So we're gonna give you an idea of how many shots you get as well as what energy they're shooting at it at their respective level. Off of a 250 bar fill, the Pulsar HP was able to give us 55 shots at an average of 814 feet per second with JSB 33.9 grain pellets. If you do that math, you'll notice that the average came out to 49.9 foot pounds of energy, which is right on par for this 50 foot pound gun. More importantly, the standard deviation is four. It's less than five on a technically unregulated gun. So that's where you're seeing the electronics really step up to the plate and make sure that everything stays consistent. On medium power, the Daystate Pulsar HP averaged 839 feet per second with JSB 25.4 grains. If you calculate that out, it comes out to 39 foot pounds on medium. And wait for this, the shot count was 100 shots per fill off of a 250 bar fill which is just, once again, the, the electronics internally are doing such a good job of keeping everything tight. That's why we're seeing great accuracy. That's why we're seeing such high shot counts. It truly is a very impressive setup. On low power at 29 foot pounds of energy, you get a staggering 192 shots. So that is a 30 foot pound gun that's putting out 192 shots. It's absolutely incredible. And the ability to also have a 40 foot pound gun that does 100 and a 50 foot pound gun that gets 55 really makes this rifle versatile in all sorts of field scenarios. The Day State Pulsar has a great feature for shooters in general. It doesn't matter if you're a hunter, if you're a bench shooter, most likely you've double loaded a gun and it can get frustrating. So what Daystate has done is they've actually built in an anti-double load device. So right, that's a full magazine right now. If I were to load it, talk to my camera, man, distract myself and go, oh wait, is this loaded? And do it again, you'll notice nothing moved here. The way the actuator works is actually some of the air from the shot recycles it. So without a shot, the magazine itself can never actuate. And if you're anyone who's gotten pellets stuck in your barrel, loaded two or three and scattered it down the shooting range, that's a feature that you can really appreciate because nothing's more frustrating than getting a couple pellets in the barrel. And Daystate went ahead and took that out of the equation for you. So we got some large North American game downrange on top of our target trap. We've gotten a good shooting position and we're gonna see if we can take him down. Oh. There it is. All right. So a little bit of Air Guns of Arizona style hunting here, as is as much hunting as I'm gonna do for these video reviews at least. Gun shoots great. It shoulders, the balance sits back in your shoulder. It's easy to shoot offhand and it's great for pest eliminating. All kidding aside, this gun produces enough energy to be very effective with. He has seen better days. I'm not sure if the pellet took the legs off or if that was the impact of him hitting, but I think due to the uh, dismemberment, I'm only gonna go with a shoulder mount on this one. So we're out at the 50 yard range. We've loaded the magazine with the JSB King 25.4 grains. We have the magazine loaded. We're gonna go ahead and put a five shot group down range, see what the results look like. You know, one thing that I'm finding really impressive about this gun is for 50 foot pounds of energy, it is really quiet. There's no accessory on the end of the barrel. It's a very calm afternoon and we are not disturbing anyone. It's, it's really quiet for what you're getting. Great field application. All right, that gun is very clean to shoot. We put five down range. Let's get down there and see what size group we're looking at. Yeah. Wow. Actually, that might be the tightest group I've ever shot on film. Okay, so we're down range at our target. This is five shots with the JSB Kings. That's a really, really tight group. I'm actually really impressed with this gun. I mean, I got a dime here and you can cover it up with room to spare on each side. You can't see that at all. That's repeatability right there. Daystate HP 25 caliber, five shots, absolutely incredible accuracy. Shooting really, really well. 
So there you have it. This is the Daystate Pulsar HP. I, like I said, it shot probably the tightest five shot group I've ever done at 50 yards and it does it at 55 shots per fill. So I truly, truly enjoyed getting to review this gun. Thanks for joining us. If you wanna stay up to date with all things Air Guns of Arizona, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube page here. To keep up to date with sales and promotions, go ahead and go on to airgunsofarizona.com and join our email list to stay up to date. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jared Clark, we'll see you next time.